Whenever we talk about the history of computer-aided design, we find ourselves coming back to one particular point – Sketchpad. CAD really starts there, in 1963, with the American computer scientist Ivan Sutherland. It marks the first time anyone successfully drew and worked with computer graphics. Although the results by our standards were not overwhelming, and the machine that was required to create simple line drawings cost around $100,000 US dollars when it was built in 1958, which in today's money is anything from between about $1 million to $2 million, Sketchpad put down the foundations for everything that followed, and if Sutherland hadn't done the development work he did, then either somebody else would have had to do it elsewhere, or we would not have CAD, CAAD, or 3D modelling today. Ivan Sutherland was 24 and working on his PhD thesis at MIT when he developed Sketchpad, which ran on the now legendary transistor-based Lincoln TX2 computer. This took up a significant amount of floor space down at MIT's Lincoln Laboratory and had a 64K 36-bit word core memory, meaning that it could handle 64 kilobytes worth of data in strings up to 36 bits long. For comparison, a single A4 page document with ordinary formatting but without illustrations in a normal word processing application such as Pages or Word or OpenOffice takes up just about that much data. At the time, that was considered impressive, though it obviously limited the complexity of graphics that could be generated. Still, using an early light pen and a cathode ray tube plotter display, Sutherland was able to draw, store and manipulate two-dimensional technical drawings consisting of lines and curves, and in doing so he set the foundation for the graphical user interface GUI without which we would have no Windows, no Apple Mac of any generation, and no smartphones. Sutherland didn't stop there, though. He spent a brief stint at DARPA, the US Defense Department's Advanced Research Project Agency, and in 1965 became an associate professor at Harvard. Here, Together with his student Bob Spruill, he put together the first iteration on a long route to what they called the ultimate display. It was a head-mounted display that was so heavy that it needed to be suspended from the ceiling, which earned it its nickname the Sword of Damocles. And it was far from ultimate. The virtual environment, such as it was, consisted of wireframe rooms, but the system was already able to track the user's head movements and, based on this, change the experienced perspective. And as a developmental experiment, it started to map out this path to a concept Sutherland had in mind, which was far-reaching. As he put it, and this is a quote, the ultimate display would, of course, be a room within which the computer can control the existence of matter. A chair displayed in such a room would be good enough to sit in. Handcuffs displayed in such a room would be confining. And a bullet displayed in such a room would be fatal. With appropriate programming, such a display could literally be the wonderland into which Alice walked. End of just around that time, a man called David C. Evans, whom Sutherland knew from his DARPA days, was in the process of setting up the computer science department at his own alma mater, the University of Utah in Salt Lake City. Evans invited Sutherland to join him, and Sutherland accepted, though on the condition that they also set up a private company together, which they duly did. Evans and Sutherland is still in business specialising in immersive computer graphics experiences such as planetariums. And although with around a hundred employees they are a comparatively small company, they do own the enviable web domain ES.com. Under Sutherland and Evans, Utah became a hotbed for computer graphics and computer science generally. 
Among those who studied with the pair are people like Alan Kay, who invented the small talk programming language, Gordon Romney, who was first to render 3D images, Henri Gouraud, after whom the Gouraud shading technique is named, and Edwin Catmull, who became one of the founders of Pixar and later president of Walt Disney Animation Studios. In the 1970s, Sutherland founded and led the computer science department at the California Institute of Technology, Caltech, and a consultancy company he set up together with his former student and co-inventor, Bob Spruill, was to become the core of Sun Labs, the research branch of Sun Microsystems. There is no doubt that Sutherland is one of the leading figures of computer science and that he was instrumental in bringing about the kind of ubiquitous computing we are so familiar with today. In fact, so important is Sketchpad and Sutherland's ensuing work that in 1988 he was awarded the Turing Award, which is given out by the Association for Computing Machinery, ACM, for contributions, quote, of lasting and major technical importance to the computer field. He is the recipient of several other accolades, including, in 2012, the Kyoto Prize, Japan's highest privately funded award for a lifetime achievement in the arts and sciences. In their citation, the Inamori Foundation observes, quote, Dr. Sutherland, who is considered the father of computer graphics, has made significant contributions to the creation of the world enabling interactive use of computers. In which phrase alone, the creation of a world enabling interactive use of computers is contained, the real importance computing, and therefore Ivan Sutherland has for our existence as we know it today.